Pope Francis argued in his 224-page document that trickle-down economics merely creates an illusion of helping the poor. That has prompted a backlash from some U.S. conservatives, including radio personality Rush Limbaugh. This is just pure Marxism coming out of the mouth of the Pope. At a recent discussion at Georgetown University, a school founded by Jesuits, Bishop Stephen Blair pointed out that the Pope had quoted a fourth century saint. This is what St. John said. Blair said Pope Francis was asserting God's dominion over all things when he recalled the teaching that not sharing with the poor is to steal from them and to take away their livelihood. John Carr, a former policy advisor to U.S. bishops, said the comment must be seen in the context of the Pope's previous critiques of socialism. People who say he's a Marxist, they don't know Marx and they don't know uh, Francis. I mean, this is straight out of the gospel. Some left-leaning Catholics believe the Pope is justifying tax increases on the wealthy, which the political right in the U.S. has staunchly opposed. But conservative blogger Catherine Jean Lopez says that's not the message. What he's pointing to is the, the radical mandates of Christianity. And if you actually believe the gospel, and if you actually believe Catholic social teaching, if you actually believe the catechism, you actually live lives that are different than the cultural proposes. The Pope's own life is grabbing headlines. He reportedly went out in disguise among the homeless in Rome and has revealed that he used to work as a bouncer in a nightclub in Argentina. At a recent conference of American religion scholars, Julie Byrne of Hofstra University says the Pope has inspired progressive Catholics. Lots of um, people in the church who have been looking for a more um, open message from the Vatican for a long time are celebrating what he's saying and are predicting that it is going to have um, so many effects on you know the youth and appeal to people who have fallen away. And I, I think that remains to be seen. The Pope's emphasis of Catholic social teachings may not be filling the pews with young worshipers, but it is seen as a powerful commentary in a nation where belief in the gospel of the free market remains strong. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.